behind the doors. Right in here. I'm going to clean this out so the lock frame sits in there nice. Turn on the actual lock frame. All this in here you want to clean out make sure it's going to go in that groove. Put both sides. This other wheel is more like the three piece. It's the same wheel. They just use different lock rings. So got that uh, first piece and then this one just slides in. But it's the same thing. We just need to clean around here and all that. guys uh, first of all thank you for watching this video if you haven't seen the rest of my videos go to the uh, my channel subscribe if you haven't check me out um, for the rest of you guys uh, thank you for all the support once again the thumbs up the positive comments all that um, 
uh, all the subscribers who've been subscribers since day one thank you for sticking around um, all the new uh, people subscribing uh, welcome and yeah, I hope you enjoy all the videos I put out and thanks for sharing my videos you know if you're from another country thank you thank you for sharing my videos because my videos are in a lot of different countries um, and it's pretty cool so thank you but anyways so if you watched my previous video 1020 um, gravy job like I said in that video dangerous all the time gravy it was today wasn't the case um, as you can see it was an industrial forklift um, five eight and a quarter fifteens tube type um, lock rings sorry I didn't get to finish the video the camera fell over technical difficulties and I ended up videotaping more clouds than anything but um, the hardest part of this job um, besides changing the tires of course was trying to figure out how to jack this thing up it was a pain usually on a forklift uh, you could use the fork some type of way to jack it up um, lucky for me the um, I don't I don't know if you call it luck but uh, the forklift wasn't working so I had to figure it out anyway got it jacked up no problem uh, I did get to record you know changing two of them they weren't that bad I mean yeah they I mean they took a little bit of work uh, and um, they, they, they weren't that bad I'm sorry I'm driving home by the way but they weren't that bad um, one of them was that was the uh, one of the ones I didn't get to record was the actual um, the steer axle on the on the right side um, that one I had to put on a stand and kind of beat it off but the rest of them were good and I'll just kind of talk about the video because I didn't get to talk really like, you know, I know some of you want me to kind of give you the how to's, but um, usually there's a lot of noise or customers and um, this was the case this time. Um, a lot of nosy people too. So what, as you can see in the video, um, it was wedges that held it on, spacer, um, you know, in between the two wheels. So I took all that off, broke them down, and what I was trying to explain that I don't know if you got if you caught it because my compressor was running, but I take my grinder, uh, my four and a half inch uh, grinding tool, and I have the uh, the wire wheel on it, like I showed you in the uh, video where I showed my tools, and I just kind of clean the um, where the lock ring is going to sit at. So. That way you want to get all the rust out, any debris that's in there, because that is what the danger is. You know, people not cleaning that, people putting the wrong, uh, uh, putting the lock ring on, and there's just debris there, you know, not paying attention. So I cleaned that area. As you can see, I mean, I was knocking rust off, dust. There was just so much debris there. I cleaned that up, and then I actually cleaned the uh, lock ring up. where that if you look at the lock ring there ain't that much actually holding that ring to the rim so you got to make sure you clean that up and have a nice clean seat so I clean all that up and it's just so happened that um, I get the notification that I'm sorry for the guy who uh, asked me about showing three-piece wheels I don't I can't remember your name but he, he posted on my last video to show three-piece wheels so three piece it's just a, a, a wheel with you know um, three components it was the wheel the um, one piece of the uh, that goes up under the ring and then the ring that was it that's a three-piece wheel um, widow makers I want to address that everything's a widow maker but when I first got taught how to do uh, split rims and all that the original widow maker that I was told was the rim that split down the middle two pieces and it was barely held on it had two two little uh, tabs on it that that's where you would stick your lock ring at and pull it out I haven't done one of those in I mean probably since I first started those are the ones don't get me wrong all of them can blow off and all you know you can die from all of them or get seriously hurt but that was the one that um 
that everybody would call the widow maker. The rest of them we just called them split rims or lock rings, whatever. So, but as you can see, I, I did show the three piece wheel, which is kind of cool because he asked about it and then I was doing a video while he asked about it. Um, in the video, you could see that I'm putting a baby powder in the tire. That's just so the tube can move around and kind of seat like it's supposed to, not just get stuck to the tire. Um, I put the flaps in. Those flaps, you only put them in one way. Um, but the job went easy. I mean, other than that, I mean, it took some time. It took a little bit of force to put it all together, but um, ended up being okay. So anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Really do appreciate all the support. Catch you on the next one.